hi my loves thank you so much for visiting my channel i really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day um, wow well, it's 1 11 a.m <laughs> those of you who are new welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for your continued love and support this is just a collective reading um if you follow my channel you guys know that um earlier well yesterday now um after that soulmate twin flame reading really just focusing on what's been going on behind the scenes with the divine feminine collective for the most part i i was crying i was really it made me really emotional so i took a nap i'm up late <laughs> um but it's been very difficult for me to sleep lately anyway and i know that this is just part of um the ascension symptoms my insomnia has been really really bad so i figure why not just do a reading and put this out early in the morning um let's see leveling up you are leveling up something is coming to a complete end the information that you may receive it could leave you shook but you're finding your life purpose so if you felt like you were bound to some type of situation i feel like that's coming to an end i feel like honestly you guys all of these readings they all go together it's like one big long storyline but i feel like the reason why the the energy has been so intense emotions have been so high especially um following that full moon in capricorn and now we're about to have the new moon in leo come in soon um i think that for a lot of people to be prepared honestly for some of the information that's about to come out because leo season is about to, to for sure be a time of a lot of exposure but that exposure is going to lead to a lot of enlightenment. It's going to be a lot of um, really, really positive breakthroughs. You're, you're, you're being broken right now, or it feels that way because you're, you're being cracked open. Like this is, this is necessary. You, you need to know the truth about people around you, um, about things in your environment, as well as the whole truth, even about yourself, so that you really will know exactly what changes need to be implemented and how you can integrate new things into your life because i feel like there's just a lot of really big changes that are coming for a lot of people the card here is um meant to be so it says this relationship is magical it's meant to be for some of you it's um this is a relationship that you have with yourself this could be the relationship that you have with your spirit guides your angels your ancestors this could be a relationship with a partner that is coming into your life or, or anyone but there are very meaningful partnerships that are developing at this time a lot of people you know it's a good thing to continue like i said focusing on yourself and again focusing on your connection with your spiritual team okay because you want to make sure right now that as these new people are entering your life to avoid making the same mistakes to avoid going into more karmic cycles that you really do have that okay from from the most high okay um so there could be some confusion and conflict happening right now but we have here cleanse cleanse your space yeah a codependent relationship is present all right so for some of you there's still some some energies that's lingering around you that you are needing to rid yourself of you're going to soon be realizing that there is something or someone around you that's a blockage when it comes to this codependency this could be you know you needing to be honest with yourself about the fact that you need to leave a friend a family member a lover or a job or some type of situation behind okay you're going to eventually be getting the missing piece to some of these situations so for some people if there has been some type of confusion where you've been holding on to something or someone confused about whether or not for some people there is something how can I put this? It's like you have something that you're being that you're being codependent about, or this could be someone in your your life or in your environment. There's a, a situation here that is meant to be, but someone is going to have to let go of something that is not meant to be. Okay, caught up. Someone's actions are catching up to them. So for some of you, this does have something to do with perhaps a romantic partnership or relationship this could be something that you're dealing with um currently um it could be something that's sort of casual i'll be honest um i haven't gotten the tarot out yet but this does seem like it's some type of third party interference here now third party interference this could be someone dealing with you know family financial issues uh, another romantic partner whatever it is you have christmas here i feel like there's um something significant about um 
Christmas. So for some of you, there could be a very magical connection that, that comes about around Christmas. You're also being, I feel, just gifted with good relationships after some time. But again, as I said, there are going to be some painful endings, some very, very harsh truths and revelations that are going to come. What breaks the heart, it will fix the vision. Some of you, someone here who has been in some type of codependent situation, it's Oh, excuse me especially if this is a relationship they're about to get caught up okay so for some of you this could be you getting caught up this could be someone you're dealing with they're going to get caught up if someone here if, if you're in some type of third party situation either you're about to find out about someone someone could be finding out there, there's some i do sense some type of it's like it it, it does feel like it could be a, a bit of drama okay um but it's it's going to reveal the missing piece yeah, somebody here is about to, somebody here is about to get caught up. There, there could be the end of a relationship or something here. Um, someone could lose a job or or their position in something because someone here is going to realize what has been going on behind the scenes. Like I said, um, you put the story, make it fit however it fits for your situation. This could be someone in your your energy in your environment someone that you know it doesn't necessarily have to be you but if the, whatever is going on behind the scenes that is hidden it is about to be exposed now again i'm getting several different situations here for some of you you're mirroring someone okay for some of you yeah then addictions is here with codependency the hidden truth someone here is going to have to be honest with themselves about the fact that they are codependent to a particular person place thing or situation someone could actually be dealing with addictions but this doesn't necessarily have to be anything you know like drugs or alcohol it's just that someone is going to really have to take a moment to to reflect and see that they have been dealing with a situation that is not of the highest good it's just not someone is not who they appear to be you have a copycat out here and then arrested yeah someone is at their breaking point all right someone is at their breaking point the halloween card is out here so someone could be a libra could be dealing with the libra i feel like justice is going to be served here someone also could be into some type of dark um you know magic or something like that christmas is out here so someone could be sagittarius capricorn um, especially with the codependency card here definitely could be a capricorn here okay so for some of you this is a past situation that could be coming up you could be finding out that someone is not who you think they are or who you thought they were there is a lot of past energy that's resurfacing now only because justice is being served like i said make sure that you're not getting too caught up in certain situations right now because emotions and energy is very very high right now these things are coming up even in the readings because it's it's not because it's happening now it's just because it's coming to a complete end now okay meaning it's coming up because you're receiving justice for it okay so people could be getting arrested for things that they did last year around halloween christmas or whatever somebody here could be getting kicked out i definitely see here where a person who has been uh, stealing someone's work or doing different things to make someone confused dealing with addictions or whatever someone here could be possibly losing everything so again you know we've been talking about this a lot especially the last few weeks people are receiving karma all right someone here is not who they appear to be you have a copycat around you this person is going to be arrested and i feel like right now many of you you may be at your breaking point because of all of the confusion um and some of the confusion you guys it is due to like i said the timelines like you're hearing all of these things that are happening and they're not current events. Um, and you have to be careful of that because eventually you will start to be very, very paranoid. You really have to know exactly what resonates with you. You have to be very discerning. Okay. Because for some of you, there is something out here that is meant to be. You're receiving something very beautiful. But if you are not cleansing your space and you're still too wrapped up in whatever some of these past situations are, you will be very confused about a situation that is meant to be. Some of this stuff right now is you're like I said, you're just you're just getting the missing piece of it. Oh, walking away role model. Some of you are role models and you're walking away. Some of you, you trusted someone you thought that they were a role model and you're walking away from those situations. OK, 
So yeah, some of you, you're, you're role modeling, you have a purpose. You have a purpose to share a lot of self-love and to help other people, all right? But then you have this intimidated person here who possibly is feeling very trapped and um, dreaming of you constantly. Somebody is in their head. They're very irresponsible, okay? Constantly looking into your life. This person, though, want, what they're constantly finding is that you love yourself, you're in your purpose, you're a role model, and they don't like the fact that you walked away. This is that same distorted masculine energy that has been coming out. You guys, please be encouraged because, like I said, this a lot of the, it, it is happening for some right now, but for some, it's a distorted feminine as well who's been in these situations here. But look, the truth is being unveiled. Um, the truth has been or it will be revealed in this situation. Like All of the secrets are coming out. You have here a fourth house. This is security. It's it's your parents, your ancestor, your family. Again, all of this different stuff here um, related to a lot of generational curses, the hexes, the black magic, the moon. All of this stuff is coming out now. But for some of you, these are attacks that have been all happening to you your entire life or the majority of it. Okay, but it's, it's coming to an end now. It really is. But it's coming to an end because you're truly at your breaking point, okay? It always gets really, really difficult at the end, which is what I was saying. Um, I've been saying that in the majority of the readings lately. It, it, it's, it's becoming very, very um, difficult. I feel like some people at this point, you're almost numb, okay? But you're woke, okay? Stay, stay woke, all right? Because you already know what's going on. You are aware. Again, please try not to be too um, pessimistic. Try to be as optimistic as you can at this time. Because there's a lot of stuff that is happening. And honestly, it's happening around you. You're protected. Be cautious. Proceed with caution. Be aware. But you have a divine mission a purpose you have an anointing within you and and over your life so you know some things are just not you know weapons form but continue to pray that you know they're not able to prosper but i do see here for some of you yeah there is possibly a a relationship or a connection of some sort that's coming in and you may be receiving good news about whatever this is okay i told you how look yeah the sun Perfect. Going into Leo season, but there's a lot of confusion. Try your hardest right now to be very grounded. Don't get caught up in this confusion, especially for some of you. You have a lot of confusion when it comes to love. When it comes to a particular person here, you may be struggling to figure out which way you should go. Who should you take your offer to or who should you allow in your life to make an offer? I definitely feel that paranoia here. Okay, for some of you, you feel like someone is going to be coming in towards you. And they some. I feel like some of you are afraid that someone is going to come in and knock you off your square. Um, in the reading that I did earlier today, that's what I was saying. That a lot of the divine feminines, like the things that have happened behind the scenes, even on energetically and spiritually that you know you you didn't hear you didn't see it has affected you to the point that you you actually are in a state of constant fear there's this paranoia there's this um this traumatization that has happened with a lot of people and this is why you know the breaking point is here because you feel very chained to this energy i feel i feel what I've been seeing in a lot of the readings is it's always a this and that is happening, but you know, it's always that but energy is always waiting on something to go wrong. And a lot of drastic changes are happening soon so that you can just have the victory, the success, the rewards and the recognition that is due to you. I mean, the sun card is the very first card, but again, there's things that are going to be exposed here, but it's a good thing because you're going to be able to come out of this state of fear. You're going to be able to dream again. You're going to just be at peace. You know, it's nice when you can be at peace and you're not confused. Some of you, you have several different options when it comes to love and you have no idea who you can trust. I feel like there's another um, situation too when it comes to different people. A lot of people will say there's no such thing as a false twin flame. And there, I mean, 
we use that, tame, that, that term just to differentiate between, you know, the real deal and something that could have been a karmic soulmate. But for some people who have been in situations for a very long time, you typically will meet someone very karmic before you meet your actual, you know, twin flame soulmate, life partner, whatever. Those people oftentimes will be very, very similar. They may look alike. They could have the same zodiac sign, similar natal chart. Some of you, you're going to be presented with options, especially in love. And you're going to probably want to just walk away a lot because it's going to be very difficult for you to figure out who you should move forward with. I feel like your angels and your guys are going to come in and try to give you that nudge that you need because i feel that many of you you are truly afraid that you're going to be attacked with something very karmic at some point if you don't really play it safe but you you're, you're gonna have to take a risk you have to be willing to embrace the unknown the sun card is out here this is a, a child here with this this white dress on a white horse you're going to have to walk in that knowing that you have cleansed and purified yourself and so the things that shall be coming to you moving forward should be things um that are a vibrational match for you yeah the seven of wands is here with the justice and the star wow the will this karmic cycle for many of you it is over you it's you're protected you're ready for war if you need to go to war but spirit is saying that like the decision has already been made justice is being served at this time you are healing from any type of karmic situation anything that has been toxic or or traumatic in your life it's being blocked out now you're healing okay so i know right now you may feel like you're in the thick of it but there's actually a lot of really good things happening yeah you the ten of wands is here with the king of wands you're dropping a lot of burdens here and by dropping these burdens look at this here you have the king and the queen of wands some of you you're balancing your feminine and masculine energy um with the star card being out here with the king and queen of um of wands for some of you there's these beautiful you know high level soulmate twin flame connections power couple vibes that are going to be coming in after a time of you really trying to juggle life love money and everything in between queen of cups here a lot of you now you are focusing on loving yourself you are tuning into your own intuition you're being discerning and as a result of that it's like you're moving right into this brand new beginning and in this brand new beginning you will have an opportunity to celebrate and meet really good people but this is something here that you've worked very hard on and as a result now it's like your angels your ancestors your guides they're coming in and they are giving you your gift they're giving you your crown you've earned your wings like you you fought these battles you you've been in competitions and, and and on the battlefield with a lot of people who didn't compare to you but it's like the truth is you still have to prove yourself and now it's like spirit is saying you no longer have to prove yourself people they know exactly who you are they are watching they're stalking they're spying and prying they know who you are and look at this here I've been saying this a lot too. Many of you now, what you have been gifted, even spiritually, is you've been gifted, I feel, with a like a cloak of invisibility. People cannot see you because so many people have been watching you for so long, okay? Spying and prying into your life, using divination or whatever to spy on your into your life. They have been creating these blockages, but look at what's here. You have the ten of cups and the four of wands so this is happy life this is happy family this is celebration okay um the king of cups is here which we just saw the queen of cups so again you're walking away loving yourself and on this journey you will either reunite or you will connect with your king of cups temperance energy here balancing that feminine and masculine energy so there are definitely these beautiful connections that are coming together because we have here the king and the queen of cups with this temperance energy and then you have the star card here with the king and the queen of wands so just like before like i said there are some connections here that are meant to be all right so all is not lost but but there there's some some cleaning up that you have to do these skeletons have to come out of these closets the trash has to be taken out in order for for these connections to come about for this healing to happen within these families as well it's not all about love it's just it's time for you to be in the right place at the right time and with the right people it's just 
it's time now. Yeah, see here, five of cups, this is what I'm saying. For my, you know, divine feminine, male or female, it's easy for you to feel like you have that heartache, the pain, the regret, um, or whatever about life choices or some of the things that you've happened. But though the two of cups is still back there. You still have an opportunity to create the type of life, the partnership, or whatever it is that you want. You have to keep that in mind. I just feel like right now, and I've been saying this a lot the enemy is truly trying to use your past and your emotions and other things to work against you because many of you you've already come out of this cycle like this cycle it has the wheel has already turned you've already dropped the burdens people notice now that you are healing i feel like right now a lot of you you you're literally glowing from the inside out but there's you're being attacked with all of this pain because many of you right now especially because so many people are receiving these upgrades you're picking up on the energy of a lot of people around you okay you you're you're, you're getting mad you're getting sad you're extremely sensitive your appetite is changing everything is changing if all of a sudden you're you're very paranoid this is the paranoia, it's the stress, the fear, the anxiety of everything that is coming at you. This is why you keep feeling like you are defeated, you're at a breaking point and like something is after you. Nothing can really touch you at this point because you've already gotten out of this. The problem is that you have a lot of people whom you've left behind. They don't want you to, like they're upset that you've already turned this wheel. See now what, what goes up must come down. See a lot of these people who treated you so bad on the way up that now they have to see you on their way down. They're experiencing that fall from grace and you're picking up on their energy. Some of these people who have done things in the dark, these copycats or whatever, or the people who thought that they were going to catfish you, they're in deep reflection right now. Some of them now, they have addictions and everything else that's going on and they're hiding the truth from a lot of people. They know they will be arrested soon. They know this. They know that they have been caught up. So, I mean, it's like the things that are going to be coming out very soon about certain people in your life and, and some of the things that they've done to you is going to leave a lot of people shook. But I think that many of you, you already knew this. Yeah, four of pentacles. That's the reason why many of you, you decided to, to pull away from a lot of situations. You decided to keep your business to yourself. You decided to build your future in, in private. And now that you're holding back so much, a lot of people, they honestly, they don't know what to do. This is the reason why all of this hacking and spying and everything else is at an all time high right now. Like, and I talked about this people, they want to try to sabotage you because you are carrying this energy of the sun and the empress. They want to sabotage you. They do not want you to have whatever is coming into your life. And I feel like a lot of people, they know that there's nothing that they can do to stop it. And I've been predicting this for them. These people will be going to jail and hell. Because the only way now that you're going to be able to live your life is if these people have no access to you. And they've already proven that with them being here still on earth, they can't stop themselves. Like the obsession has <laughs> become so, they can't stop themselves. The only way they would be able to stop literally is if they were in jail or hell. They, they've proven that they can't stop. They are literally addicted to trying to break you. Some of you, you have people, you know, it could be a masculine, it could be a, um, a father figure, whomever, people who are, have done everything to try to hold you back. Yeah, seven of swords. Distorted masculines for a lot of people. This could be people in your family, lovers or whomever. But these people, they walk themselves into the traps that they tried to set for you. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Some of these people, they came to you slowly. They worked on you in a very slow and methodical way. <laughs> but Spirit said, this is over. Because you've become a spiritual leader, a role model. You understand self-love. You know morals, values, principles, integrity. Some of these people, though, they have been posing as religious and spiritual and things like that. These people now, they are about to really be in big trouble 
a lot of this is also though with this hierophant card being here taurus and scorpio being opposites this is also saying though that for many of you these things that nearly broke you that were meant to leave you for dead it was so that you could transform so that you could change your perspective about certain situations because you needed to build strength and character to have the actual success and the recognition and the rewards that you're about to have some of you you will be moving into a season in your life where most likely you will be in the spotlight you will have some type of platform perhaps you are going towards you know being a star a public figure or just some type of influencer okay and you did you had to go through a lot you maybe felt defeated for a long time but there's still a hidden path that's being revealed to you and a lot of you you are you're becoming high priests high priestesses emperors empresses you know like you're truly on these sacred journeys on this divine path so yeah you you had to cross the burning sands you had to walk through the valley of the shadow of death if you it was part of the plan there was no other way around it because you you perhaps had to really learn how to be balanced emotionally Two of Wands is here, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Once again, there's another pair. But there is, to me, I get that this is somewhat of like a karmic situation. This could be something that's a bit karmic that someone that you know of that's coming towards you is dealing with. But this also could be something in your life too. But you see that there's a person here in between these two. Someone here knows that they had to make a decision. This King and Queen of Swords, if they're not in the highest vibration, this is two people here who may speak it to each other in a very nasty way this again though is there are connections that are for sure breaking apart okay people here are realizing like this is the wake-up call P certain people now you're just not on the same page with them or this could be someone in your life like i said they know for sure in fact to be in your good grace there are certain things that they have to leave behind they have to step to you the correct way a lot of people who have done you wrong, they're going to want to come to you also with apologies. Okay? Because they're left, they've been left out in the cold. They're suffering. They they want to come to you still now for, for help and healing. Some type of understanding. But you're on your way to a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands being here. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's like your your guys, they're telling you, be optimistic. They're, they're taking you on to something brand new with the ace of wands here very passionate new opportunities and beginnings here the knight of wands here some of you could be traveling but i just see there's this like this um lust for life like you're gonna become very optimistic you're gonna want to have fun living in the moment that's why i'm saying now it, it, for sure like please please at this time because i had to do the same thing today and i know for a sure fact i'm not gonna leave the channel because y'all know i tend to disappear but I'm definitely taking a break from tarot because some people, especially those who are truly leaders and you are very intuitive and discerning, you will hear so much stuff coming out in the collective right now and you will absorb so much of this energy that your new opportunity will be presented to you and you will miss out on it. Because as you, this is for people, especially who listen to a lot of tarot. When you hear these readings, just about every reading will resonate with you. It could resonate with you and it'll make you think of something that happened 20 years ago, two years ago, two days ago. You know, this is collective energy, but you have to know where you are in your life and your journey right now. Okay. Do not let a storyline about somebody who came in to rob, steal, kill, and destroy you last year and the year before convince you that in the next week, the love of your life may be coming. You have to learn how to be very discerning. You have to pull yourself out of that darker energy. Because to be honest with you, a lot of people, it's not that we're spreading fear. Because even me, I can't control the warnings that come out in the readings. But it's it's just for awareness. But if you still walk in that faith and that knowing that you are protected. And you know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to attract the things that you truly want. You still have to be mindful not to get too caught up on those past things. Because if you're no longer the person that attracted that type of energy in the past, you should confidently know that, hey, I'm attracting people in situations that are so much better. Don't let a reading convince you that the, you know, the world is about to end and, and everybody is coming to try to, you know, 
destroy you. That's oftentimes what the enemy wants you to do is to stay in a state of fear. Even the divine feminists, some have gone through things for decades of torture, but there is a turning point here. You have to know that you're not going to go through this your entire life. That will defeat the purpose of you actually having a purpose. So if you've learned the lessons, you have to know that there is something greater coming. I'm hearing that song, Greater Come. There, there, there's a shaking in the spirit. You can feel it. There's a lot of situations. It was it was a catalyst. These were tools for your ascension. You had to go through it, which lets you know that there there clearly are huge huge blessings that are coming as well. If you've had to go through this much to get to wherever it is that you're supposed to be going. Ten of Swords, see? Being backstabbed, betrayed, the pain, feeling defeated, um, painful endings and losses, but the Ten of Swords also is it's completion. That's over with. And now you have here the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Exactly what I'm saying. You, you, you will have to face the things that have happened and more things will be exposed and it may be hurtful, Okay. You may at some point feel very much defeated, but do not allow that feeling, that emotion to cause you to hit rock bottom. Because at the same time you are learning this, you're also receiving freedom. Nine of Pentacles is about having stability, security, okay? Being freedom, being independent. For some of you, you're gaining a lot of financial freedom and independence. But this is nine of pentacles is saying that you've achieved something. You've become a really great person. Nine of pentacles, I mean, that, that means that you're fit now to create a legacy. To have wealth and abundance. And then the six of pentacles is here. So the six of pentacles is saying that you're going to be in a position to be very generous. With your love and your resources. And you will also receive what you, what you put out. Some of you are about to go into even connections where you're going to be spoiled rotten. If you've never really had love, that protection, you know, I talked about that a lot earlier in the reading. Especially for a lot of people who want to be in partnerships. If you never really experienced a good friend in your life or even a lover that you really felt that like that was your safe haven, you're, you're going to have that if you are aligning yourself with it. Yeah, the devil came out. And the hermit. A lot of this toxicity, like I said, it was it was there because it forced you to soul search. It forced you to withdraw from a lot of people who weren't good for you to reflect. To gain some truth and clarity about yourself so that you can move forward. The chariot. But you're going to have to remain focused in this season and be very determined because it's sort of like you have turned a wheel, okay? You're out of a cycle. But because this cycle is affecting so many people that try to keep you in this cycle around you, it almost makes you feel like you're still connected to it. You're going to have to shift your mind and realize, hey, I'm not in that cycle anymore. It's just, you know... People around you are going through it because they were attached to you and trying to cause all of this drama in your life. But Spirit is saying you're set apart. Do not be confused. You are very much set apart. You hear it, you see it, you feel it, but that's not it's not your business really. The tower is here. And then the moon. Look, the tower, the moon, and then the three of swords. But then underneath that is the eight of cups, the fool, and the two of cups. The five of swords and the four of wands. Many of you have felt extremely defeated when it comes to you having stability, security, 
a happy home, success, you know, being someone who could be in a healthy relationship, two of wands and the four of wands out here, definitely you felt very much defeated when it comes to you having an opportunity to wake, walk away from things that don't serve you, to have a very healthy, happy, harmonious and peaceful home and love life, family life. You're, you're being set free, okay? But you have to still let go. You have to trust that you've discovered enough about yourself because, look, you have the Tower, the Moon, and the Three of Swords. So, again, you're moving forward, but at the same time while you... See, this is the thing. Because you are moving forward, it's causing a Tower moment for everyone else. Look at the cards here. You have the Devil here, okay? The devil kept coming against you, so you withdrew. You withdrew from everything and everyone. You went within into hermit mode. You said, well, forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and move forward and try to find victory and success on my own. You tried to overcome all of these obstacles. You had to literally battle the devil. Well, now that you walked away, everyone is in regret. It's a huge tower now because now that a lot of people, honestly, they can't tap into your energy. They can't feed off of you energetically, okay? They're heartbroken because all of their secrets are coming out. The people who have been copying off for you or whatever, whatever has been happening, anyone who has been trying to use and abuse you in any way, now that you have cut your energy off, now that your energy is so protected because you are so sacred and anointed to the most high, it's like everybody around you is, is experiencing a tower moment. What are they going to do now? Whatever they were, see, I keep saying God's plan B was always plan A. Everything that a lot of people work so hard to take from you, that wasn't God's portion for you anyway. <laughs> that's what's, that's, that, wasn't, that wasn't what God really had for you. That was, it, it was like it was a decoy. It was, it was placed there to see who was going to fall for it. And everybody who fell for it, they have to pay the price now. The people that attack your union, the people that they like, the person that they have felt that they were going to take away from you. That's not even who God has for you. The house, the car, the job, everything that these people have thought that they were taking from you. All they did was they set themselves up. It's pretty much like God used you as bait. And I've said, I'm just like, honestly, a lot of people now they have to repay. They have to pay their debts to the devil but the devil made a fool out of them and, and God used you pretty much as, as bait, like karmic, karmic bait. People just ra walk themselves into traps because of the things that they did to you. And the things that are actually for you were always hidden. I see a lot in the love readings, the, the people who have gone up against you because of a so-called twin flame or soulmate, that's not even your person. Can you imagine the karma that these people will, will have now who have been doing black magic and manipulation and rituals and spells and creating all of these illusions and blockages for a person that's not even your person? They still have to go through karma for what they did to you. Because then mo most likely they're, they're not going to stop you from meeting your person, but they certainly delayed you from meeting your person. The people who have caused you to have wrongful terminations or to lose money or to struggle, they have to pay for that. And all you ever have to do is, that's why your self-awareness, your consciousness and your path of enlightenment is so key because once you open up and see the truth, everything falls into place. I mean... Everything starts to balance out simply because you know knowledge is power. Once you know, it's a wrap after that. And many of you now going into hermit mode and soul searching, going through all these test trials and tribulations, you successfully cracked the code and you may not have all the details. That's okay. You may not ever have all the details, but you're intelligent enough now and you've gained enough perspective about these situations that now the hierophant queen of swords you can be both spiritual and practical your spirituality has went to a new level you now you know exactly what you believe in what you don't believe in 
Like I said, you have morals, values, principles. You're not going to do things that aren't in alignment with your integrity. Eight of Wands, there's a lot of fast-moving energy coming in here. A lot of just quick, quick, sudden changes here. And some of, it's def some of you are definitely going to be granted love. The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. Then I have the freaking Queen of Cups and the Lovers. And the Ten of Wands. You got somebody, for some of you, there's a person that's going to come into your life. And they're going to take all of this weight off your shoulders. Everything that you went had to go through, you're soon going to find out that it, whatever you're receiving, it was worth the wait. Peace, satisfaction, overall contentment, wish fulfillment, being able to just enjoy being successful and abundant, having blessings, having gratitude, and, and being able to also share it with someone. There's a lot of peace that you're going to have. No more burdens. So like I said, you know, even this weekend, take some time to retreat, rest, rejuvenate. Do something that's going to take your mind off of things. I always say it's nothing wrong at all with you kind of taking a little bit of a break from, from tarot and, and things like that. Get, get grounded and centered and, and be able to hear your own voice. Because a lot of these towers, they're falling around you, but it's not going to touch you. So don't get too caught up in it. While the destruction is happening in other people's lives, there's a brand new foundation being created for you. a lot of um stuff that's i feel like there's a lot that's going to be happening even this weekend somebody you guys is going to discover the truth about a third party either you're going to find out the truth about something or someone someone is going to be um finding out the, the truth about you okay and when i say find out the truth about you i'm not i'm just saying like someone could be confessing that they want to come towards you or someone is going to be able to see very clearly that perhaps someone is wanting to move in your direction that's going to cause a lot of sudden changes and shocking, unexpected events to happen. Some of you also, someone could be admitting to you that they they really have feelings for you. Okay. Um, some of these situations, though, it's just too many people involved. Friends, family, hidden enemies, whatever. But like I said, it's a very weird time, though, because there's endings and new beginnings. Stuff is happening really, really fast. The dice card. So, yeah, it's like it's you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to do something that's going to get you out of your comfort zone. You know, go and try to have fun. Be playful. Try to have more fun in life. Like I said, you're going to have to get out of this energy of being so pessimistic and, and paranoid because of the things that happened in your past if you stay in that energy i mean it's, it's clear you won't ever experience anything different you're gonna have to tell yourself i know that there is greater i know that there is better i know that the next person that's coming into my life is going to be exactly what i need and want them to be as opposed to saying oh my goodness this may be another karmic be careful of your words and your thoughts because you will keep manifesting that. A lot of that, it goes back to the fears and the toxicity and the codependency. The outdated and the self-limited thoughts and belief and, and patterns that we all struggle with. Potential. There's potential in situations despite all of the obstacles and the challenges and the delays, okay? Okay. You know that you've been very resilient and you've had to practice a lot of perseverance. But it's like now, there are things in the future that are going to be taking place. And despite the fact that you have all of this sadness, the serendipity is here. Meaning that things happen exactly as they should have. Divine intervention, is, there's going to be happy surprises here. The crystal ball here, some of you, there's been good things that are predicted. And you're like, well, when is it coming? It's coming, but you still, you, you have to make sure that you get out of that energy of being disappointed and regretful. 
you have to make space for these new things to come in. And like exactly in between worlds, you you right now emotionally you may feel like you're hanging in limbo. You could be dealing with somebody who in your environment or even a lover or, or whatever that's torn. A lot of people right now are torn between two paths. But you're you're moving out of the old and going into the new, but it's this this energy is moving at such a rapid pace that these transitions are very confusing right now. But the world is here. So it's saying that this is the end of a journey. That somebody is it's about to be the end of being in between worlds. So you may need to take a quick little vacation or have a staycation. Okay? Quick little weekend trip or something may help. I just feel like a lot of people right now, because of how intense the energy is, this is a time where you need to you just need to break. <laughs> Take some time, and, and if you want to take a day, you need a personal day. If you want to journal and cry, really cleanse your energy and your space and your overall just aura at this time. I walk around my house and talk to myself all the time. And if I want to cry, I just cry. If I need a personal day, I take it. Divine timing is here. Look, clean up. Clean up. Some of you, you have marriage coming in, but you have to get out of isolation. These people also that's doing a lot of stuff, to, they want you to feel isolated. They don't want you to go out. They don't want you to be seen because they've been trying to block you from things for so long. You, Many of you, you are attracting a, a long-term partner. You are going to be attracting the person soon that you may marry. Now, some of you may attract a person that will come into your life they could be in between worlds they could be coming out of a situation they could have recently gotten married they could have you know some fears around a new connection but some of these partnerships they're destined to be a a, a, a solid connection can have a rocky start but you have to be discerning and some of you you will be tested with having new connections partnerships and friendships that start off a bit unconventional it's going to be a test to see, though, will you be able to trust that this is still going to work out in your favor? I always say when you learn how to trust yourself, it's not so hard for you to trust other people because you know that no matter what, you got yourself. No matter what you get into, you can get yourself out of it. That comes when you master letting go of codependency. Because if you get into a situation with somebody that's not working, you should not be trying to prove yourself. You should have enough value to say, you know, worthiness. Is not, I know I have value. If this does not work for me, you can quickly abort mission. Get out of it. So you don't have to be afraid to take risk. Every person that comes into your life will not be in your life a lifetime. Whether it's a friend, a family member, or a lover. However, they can absolutely teach you something that you need to know to get you to wherever you, you need to go. So don't allow these bad energies or the past or whatever to keep you isolated. Get rid of the negative situations and the negative thoughts. Clean up your life. Declutter your mind. Because there's things here that you can't control that are happening good and bad and you're just gonna have to let go you this is the time where you just have to surrender Wait a minute. I um I want to pull for this day. I'm sorry, guys. One second. Ouch. Let's pull some release cards. Haven't used these. Surrender to setting limits. Set healthy boundaries, but make sure that you're setting boundaries for yourself. 
you want to, of course, protect yourself, but don't be so, don't be too defensive and don't be too paranoid. Have self-control with setting boundaries, but don't block everything out. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Yeah. Remember that you are a magical being. Like I said, you are very set apart. There is a, a calling on your life. So your superpower is simply you being just being you. Walk in that. Know that. Understand that. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. This is what I'm saying. Some of you, you need to just take a, a chill pill. You need to just break. You don't need to look for the details. You don't need to try to figure it out. You don't need to go and try to get that person. You know, the things that are coming into you, because you've had to fight for so long, spirit is 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 has devised a plan <laughs> and created a method to all of this madness so that now if you will surrender these outdated beliefs about yourself and let go of the the limitations and just surrender to the magic of who you are a lot of things will just effortlessly come into your life you don't have to stress or worry or or be fearful yeah surrender your belief in scarcity you know, it's, it's saying the, the universe is saying, be open. There's abundance all around you. There's money. There's love. There's opportunities. There's, there's, there's everything that you need is around you because it's within you. If it's within you, then you can absolutely attract it outside of you. But you have to remove the blockages in your life. And a lot of it is the blockages are just in your mind. That's why I said, be careful. Who you listen to, what you listen to, the music, the TV shows, the readers. Be careful, especially in times like this where it is so, so intense. There's so much energetic manipulation. You know, even people who are able to telepathically communicate, there's so much confusion and so many illusions being cast out right now. You have to be careful. Surrender your ego and surrender to your full power. So this is a time to practice more gratitude, you know. You don't want to be caught in the victim mentality of the woe is me, okay. But having a big ego can work against you. Be thankful. You know, I thank God for, for the good, bad, the evil, and the ugly in my life. I'm thankful for all of it. Because that's what allows you to align with your, you know, your higher self and be in your full power. And you see that lion, Leo season is going to be very significant for a lot of people. Look, a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra, meditate and contemplate. I just said that new moon in Pisces and then hold your vision. Yeah, you have a vision for your life. You're very close to achieving your goal. A new romantic cycle begins and luck is on your side. Heavy, heavy Libra energy out here. Libra and Sagittarius. Karmic justice. The scales are being balanced. Sagittarius, new moon in Sagittarius is saying luck is on your side, but Sagittarius is also temperance. Okay. Yin and yang energy. Fire and water. Having patience, perseverance, moderation, self-control, peace, balance, harmony. All of those things are coming in. If you've envisioned your life being happy, peaceful, healthy, and harmonious, hold on to that. But meditate and contemplate and clear away the things that don't serve you. Know that you are good enough, okay? And ask yourself, what do you need to release? Now is a time for healing. Now is a time for preparation. Now is a time for you to really, really know who you are and walk in that, okay? Learn how to surrender because for some of you who are interested, like I said, in starting businesses or even, you know, actual romantic partnerships and relationships, you really need to settle into who you are with this new energy. Okay. It's almost like the, these major upgrades that you're receiving. You really have to walk in the power and the authority and the knowing of who you are. And, and you will attract like-minded people. You can take your training wheels off. <laughs> so 
Spirit is saying, you're woke now. You can take the training wheels off. Retreat. I'm telling some of you, you need to retreat. Seriously. <laughs> you need to rest. You need to retreat because you need some rejuvenation. What's this? Growth. Yeah. And then the truth. The truth may be hurtful, but it's going to fix your, your, um, your vision. And once you receive the truth and the clarity about certain things, then you have your feminine energy. Then you need to be able to surrender, go into your sacred space, be open to receiving the downloads, be open to receiving the love. Okay. Stripping, look at this, stripping illusions. But it says here, it's all good. Emotional release, home. It's time to go home and when you return home to yourself that's where the unlimited possibilities will be so all of the things that you've picked up from the world and been conditioned to believe that has led to you being this wounded warrior spirit is saying it's time for you to go back home back home to yourself you, you needing to retreat it's time to disconnect from the world around you that was full of illusions to begin with it's time to unplug from the matrix You've grown. You've outgrown this space, this place. Feminine energy. Like I said, it's it's really time to just connect with your higher self. Feminine energy also has a lot to do with you using your, your wisdom. Okay? I feel like it's just a time for a lot of people, like I said, to really embrace a lot of things about themselves. Letting go of fear. This is also um, like what it's all good here. An emotional release. This is, you know, accepting the fact that everyone had their free will. And when it came to you, a lot of people, they just chose wrong. A lot of people, they didn't know. But I mean, that's their, that's their business. <laughs> that's for them and, and the most high to now deal with. Like, that's, that's not your problem. They didn't recognize who you were. In in the reading I did earlier about the um a lot of the divine feminines and the, the distorted masculines the um analogy I, I was used because it literally is what I saw in my vision. I keep seeing lions. Um and it's crazy because lion see Leo season is here, but I was saying you've had people and they, they thought that you were just the, the one of the litter, but you were always a lion. And when they could have fed you steak to help you become strong, they they gave you dried up, you know, expired canned cat food. And yet you still came back. Being that mighty, lions are considered mighty and majestic, very, very powerful, extremely intuitive. People, they didn't think that you would you would ever make it. They test you. They tried you. But you're the truth. I have a reading about that. Like, test tried and true. Like Esther. You're being presented right now. Clean up your house. Tend to your, your, your health. Focus more on your faith. You can focus on everything right now except the crap that's happening around you because the crap happening around you to be like it's just going to give you more wisdom, more insight, more clarity. But it doesn't have to be your focus because you've already been through it. Focus on the new. It's really easy to because a lot of the things that's coming to you now it's easy to say you were meant to have it before, but you weren't because what you're getting now is coming with, with extra gifts, extra bells and whistles. Because a lot of people, they fail the test. I said, whatever you thought you were supposed to have, you're getting something much bigger and greater now. I feel like God was, was showing a lot of us like, hey, I have this big blessing for you and then when everybody started to look into your life and see what was coming and god had to trick them he had to see like let me see how they're gonna act when you get this and people acted a fool so now they have to be eliminated for you to actually have what's for you 
which is actually much more grand than what you thought it was. During this time, God hasn't even shown some of us what he has in store for us. Because I'm telling you, had you told somebody and made it more easy for them to find out about it instead of them using the, the magic and the manipulation, you wouldn't even be this far along. So be grateful for everything that happened and how it happened. It was all for a reason. And I know that's much easier said than done, but truly. I have been um, seeing a lot of sixes and nines, six ba being balanced. Us in the year 2022, nine is, you know, being very close to the end of a cycle. I feel too that for many of you, like in six to nine months, your life can be totally different. Some of you have partnerships and relationships and businesses that are going to get started soon. And I'm telling you, in six to nine months, your entire life will be different. So do not focus so much on the past and don't don't allow your emotions to rule and run you right now. Those feelings will cause you to think that you you failed and that you will fail the next go round. No. But in the in the dictionary, failure always comes. It will always become before success. Right. Focus on the success. It's coming. It's happening for you. Just let go. Don't stop. Right now, focus on improving your health. Focus on improving your abundance. What is that, you know, seize whatever opportunities are being presented to you. There's a, a card in here that flipped over. Yeah, something, it may not be the right time right now. Like I said, now isn't the right time for sure to, um, Allow these energies to cause you to react and respond in an unfavorable way. Be willing to compromise. I'm not talking about with people who are your enemies, but I keep getting this new energy coming in for you and it's going to definitely test you. Because to come out of these heavy energies and these toxic cycles and, you know, going through so much heartache, pain and betrayal you're going to have to learn how to be emotionally balanced and how to compromise when you meet new people because most likely you're going to have a period of time where you're going to be up in arms a lot that's what i was saying earlier try not to be too defensive try to really get more into that feminine energy of of trusting yourself you know when you're really in the divine feminine energy you're aware of, of things around you. you. You can walk by faith and not by sight because you know the power of your intuition and your wisdom. It allows you to be very flexible and adaptable to certain situations. You know when and how to retreat. And you know also that no matter what the truth is, whether it be good, bad, evil, or ugly, you're going to grow from that situation. So like I said, embrace the new. Don't be afraid to take risk. If you've gone through as much as you've gone through now, the average person's mind is going to say, oh, don't, don't take any more risk because you're afraid. What you should be thinking is, if I made it through all of this, then there's really nothing that can stop me at this point. So don't, don't fear anything. Well, um, I think that's it, you guys. I mean, I don't really have much more. I think this was pretty straightforward. Um, ouch. Endings are inevitable, okay? You have here swim away from this situation, the shark. And you see this lady here, this mermaid. Some of you, especially my divine feminists, these distorted masculines or people who have tried to overpower you and manipulate you, just swim away from these situations. Don't let it, these endings, they're inevitable. Okay? Don't let they get the best of you. 
I said some some people they really try to take the best of you. God said he's gonna always love the rest of you and the best of you they never even had it <laughs> you can manifest your every wish stars and focus on here and now nostalgia don't allow the past events to happen that happen to distract you from manifesting things and you need to stand up for yourself right now like I said, it's a thin line between a lot of things. It's a thin line between love and hate. It's a thin line between settling and compromising. It's a thin line in between choosing good or bad. It's a thin line between having boundaries and being defensive. That's where your self-awareness comes into play. Right now, don't seek anyone's approval. Be mindful of your expectations. And don't be an escapist. Come home to yourself. There are certain things that maybe you've been running from. The truth. Come home to yourself. Before these new solid foundations are created, you're still going to have to go in and clean up what you what you currently have as an unsolid, as, as unsolid foundation, a faulty foundation. But something lovely will grow out of these situations. And it says here, look, lioness, you already earned all your stripes. Leo season is going to be one for the books. And you already have all the answers. Stop going outside of yourself looking for answers. You have, I mean, how could you not have the answers after everything you've been through? You're full of wisdom. It's just time now for you to truly apply it. Okay, so... I'm going to pull just to see what um, spirit messages we have. And then I'm going to close out. Soul power. It says, always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. You have here serenity and new beginnings. Oh, my goodness. That's everything I just said. And then here, ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. That's everything we said, right? Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Yeah, you're recalibrating. And I've been talking about that a lot. Everyone is being recalibrated now. Like I said, you're, you're experiencing this new, um, all this new energy. It's like your your body right now. Like I, I've been saying, I'm like, I feel like I'm floating most days. Um. Yeah, I feel like some days I feel like I'm I'm floating and what I'll have to do um, in these times where I really don't want to eat much or I'm receiving so many messages is honestly, I'll go and I'll eat something that's not good for me just so that I, I won't be floating. <laughs> like, like I'll go and, you know, eat some candy or something that I know I'll probably should. just like, listen, my vibration at this point is too high because I'm literally floating. Um but try to get a bit of peace ground yourself take a drive take a vacation if you can a staycation
take a personal mental day off from work whatever you need to do take yourself a good spiritual bath journal because again the energy is so intense right now and if you are an empath and you are absorbing all of this energy those negative thoughts and everything is going to make you very tired distracted and like irritated and unfocused and you will then start to revert back to what you know which is let me focus on the past and then as the new opportunities are being presented you will miss them because you won't be a vibrational match for them which is actually a trick of the enemy for sure let me make you think about the past or think about the past person or how how broken that situation made you so that you will remain a victim it, it, it's a scam <laughs> so you got to stay woke there's a new beginning here all right i think that's everything continue to practice gratitude okay um you're receiving good things so try not to complain too much and going back to it's 220 i started at 111 it's 222 a.m so i need to go to bed and it's 111 on the phone now wow i started at 111 it's exactly 111 11 on the timer and the clock here is 222 a.m leaders choices decisions partnerships it's all here okay for some of you too when it comes to partnerships try not to react and respond because i do feel like there's going to be a lot of um things being exposed over the next few days and weeks um it could it, it's going to affect you it could be about you or someone you're dealing with and it will affect you all right but just be mindful of how you react and you respond but a lot of it you can't control so i love you guys all very much go with and so that you don't go without and i'll catch you on the next one bye